What you're about to see is the view of the future, where Building Information Models, BIM, can be used as a tool for facilities management. These are essentially 3D model interfaces with links to information on the building and the equipment needing to be maintained. Let's start with an example of a work order. In this example, there is a pump with a possible leak in Building 720. On the work order now is an icon which, when selected, takes you straight into the model where the pump to be repaired is located. Once you're in the model, you can then select the pump and a menu will come up. From there you can get to the O&M manual where you can download or print and you can also get to the parts list. Both of these documents are linked through the icon to your existing file systems. You're also able to get into your asset management application, in this case Maximo, where you can look at the information stored in the system. You're even able to access the building control system, essentially a schematic of the mechanical equipment in the room. Here you can see the pump's current temperature, flows, and pressures, along with the ambient conditions. Another important piece is the laser scan. This is because not everything will be modeled. This allows you to be able to determine if there's any issues such as access so you can plan your work accordingly. By selecting the panel schedule icon, the electrical panel associated with the pump will appear in blue. You will also access the panel schedule for your lockout and tagout. Then by selecting the electrical panel, other electrical equipment associated with the pump will appear, such as the VFD. The VFD also has a menu. From there you can get to the specs, and you also can get to a picture. Now that you've seen the view of the future for facilities management, we would like you to to ask you a few more questions regarding how accessing information using BIM would impact your current work practices.